Welcome to tutorial how to install SQL Server. I already got this page and I will put this link into the description of my video later on so you don't have to search it anymore if you don't want to. At the top you will see these two options SQL Server on premise and SQL Server on Azure. If you see this you can download it for free and try it for 180 days after that you have to pay. If you have Azure account or are familiar with, with Azure, you can also do this SQL Server 2019 on Azure and use it on the cloud. And these two are either way are not free. So if you scroll down and for this tutorial, I will use the cheaper edition, which is the free version and you also see two options one is developer and one is express with developer you can use it but only for development so you are not allowed to use this version for your um, production ready website or applications you can do it with express though but Express has only a limited number of size. Like last time I checked is around 10 gigabytes. I'm not sure right now. It might, it may be different right now or it's still the same. So for this purpose, and I will just download the developer version. I think it's about, yeah, five something megabyte or six and I already I go to my local file system is there so yeah it's around five is 5.8 megabyte and I will click on it So here you have uh, different types, basic, custom, or download media. I'm not really sure about this actually, but I will just go through the basic one for now. Then you can read all of this. I've read that and accept it. I will just put everything on default. I think that's the safest and the best way. Oh, well, I'm not sure if it's the best way, but that's what, at least for this tutorial, I'll just put it, just leave it like this and click install. So now the installation is done. When you see this page, then you see this a bunch of options here or a bunch of information to be exact. What is, what, what have you been installed? And the important ones is instance name is the name of your SQL server. In my case is MS SQL Server 01. Usually, if it's your first time, you will have MS SQL Server only. But I already have another instance, and this one will be 01. And SQL Administrator is, uh, like the name said, is the administrator. So if you install this locally on your laptop, on your local machine, you are the administrator, just in my case here. So and down here you see the connect now, customize, install SSMS and close. And I want to try to install the SSMS first. Well, SSMS is SQL Server Management Studio. It's the GUI for um, for database management from Microsoft. So I will click on it, and then I will just use the Microsoft Edge and it will lead me to the 
So because I have a remote Simon Studio download page. So I want to just click this server. I mean this link. And SSMS is downloaded. So if you see it's five hundred megabyte. And click it. So it's I need to restart this. So I'm back again after after the restarting. So just to make sure I will try to click on this again, the SQL Server Management Studio setup. And yes. And yeah, you see this install window. And just use it install. So now the setup has complete and all we have to do is just close it for now. So we'll see if there is an SQL Server Management Studio. Oh, I make a mistake here. So, oh yeah, um, I just forgot to mention that I just installed SQL Server Management Studio 18. I already have the previous version on my laptop before. I think it's 16. So this will be what we just installed. I click on it. So here we go. I just opened SQL Server Management Studio 18. And when if you see this, the server name is Ansa One. That's my laptop, and the instance name of the SQL Server, which is MS SQL Server Zero One, in my case. And I use the Windows authentication and see if it's uh, working. Just click on Connect. Yep, it's working. If you see on the left side, here is my database. Answer one, I'm a SQL Server zero one, and I'm logging. I'm logging in as me. And here's the database, still empty. You don't see any user databases, only the system standard databases. Okay, that's it. That's how we installed SQL Server, the database and also the SQL Server Management Studio, the tools to manage and administer the database. So I, I hope you enjoy it and gain some knowledge from this video. And the next one will be how to install the, or how to restore a database from a backup file. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.